good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, all right. So yesterday was Mother's Day, and I called up my mother and my grandmother. And whenever I was talking to my grandmother in Puerto Rico, um, we were discussing different things about food, like usual. I'm always trying to mooch off new recipes to try, especially recipes that I could not mimic until I actually asked the right person. So I asked my grandmother, and she decided to give me a few ideas, which one of them was one of my favorite dishes whenever I was uh, a kid. It's a arroz con salchicha. Um, it's a rice and, basically rice and sausage. Uh, it can be done with many different forms, but the easiest ways for those who can't really, well, are trying to trim a bit of cash, um, you basically use Vienna sausages if you want to, which I made it almost identical to the way my grandmother did, but I may have done it a little overkill in the sausage part, but still. Um, it's a very, uh, very easy recipe. Um, it's, uh, you start off with... Oh, here we go. We start off with our ingredients. Ah! Okay. So you have basically a potato, uh, some... Ah! What, what am I doing there? Get out of the way. Ah, let me try this again. Yeah. Okay, so we start off with, um, you have, uh, you're gonna use basically a quarter of a potato, like half of an onion. You're gonna be using rice. Some adobo, there'll be your seasoning, some Vienna sausages, olive oil, and tomato sauce. Uh, you're only going to use about half the can of tomato sauce because it's going to give a lot of color and quite a bit of flavor. You don't want to overdose it and make yourself having like a tomato rice. Ugh. So, now, uh, what we're going to do. Yes, uh, first dice up, you know, your sausages and whether it be, you know, link sausage or whoever, whatever kind of sausage you're going to use. Uh, uh, dice it up into nice small bite-sized pieces. Same goes for the potato and the onions. We're going to start off with using your olive oil, your olive oil, your adobo seasoning, and the tomato sauce. Um, that you're going to get in first, you know, mix it in well before you start adding, adding, adding your, uh, well, all the other ingredients basically. Um, you're going to add in your onions and onions and uh, sausages first so that they can start simmering. And it's kind of like, you know, mixing in the flavors. You want those onions to cook in nicely. You can always throw in your potatoes whenever you want, you know, just... You know, you want them to cook quite well before you go get to the point of adding the rice. This is all done before you do the rice. Now, rice is usually done where you just throw it in the pot, add water, whatever seasonings, and you're done. Because this is pre-done before that, you just want to, uh, you're going to have that as part of the fluids and flavors that are going to soak into it. So be careful because I got a little overzealous, as you can see over here. That's a little overkill. I used two cans of sausages instead of just one. Um, and then by the time I added the water and everything, it was getting pretty high. And plus, with all that done, whenever you mix it, it's going to be really tall. Plus, as the rice will swell up, it will get massive. Alright, yeah, I'm doing all this picture stuff because I kind of figured out how to do the pictures inside of my video. Because remember, I am doing this all in one shot because I have no idea how to edit videos. So, here's the thing. So, after, uh, you know, you do the same process of cooking rice and such. You have it so it's a... Uh, cooks up nicely until it gets nice and tender. You may have to add more water, depends. But remember, rice will swell up because it doesn't just stay together. It's not squished down as, you know, when you pour it all together. It will be swelling up with all the uh, flavors and the water and everything. And it gets bigger. And you have to remember to fluff it to uh, basically stir it up. So I might have been a little overzealous and I've gotten, yeah, it's, it's really, really tall. Now the rice is going to absorb the nice little colors and of the tomato sauce and the flavors that you had as they were all cooking together. So you can make all sorts of different things that will then penetrate into the rice so it gains all this wonderful flavor. And this is a dish that would be done, you know, for like little kids in Puerto Rico. It's, you know, you know, you, you'd have rice and beans a lot, but then suddenly you have rice with sauce, like, yeah, you know, meat inside of rice. So it was all cooked together. And whenever I had colors, always, you know, a different flavor. So you always had these different things to work with. So it's nice, it's fluffy. You have your potatoes, your onions, your rice, your sausage. And the thing is that, like a child, whenever you're eating stuff, you kind of want to dig around for you know, all the good stuff. And because sausages were such a treat, such a treat, you kind of want to dig around to get it. You have this nice and fluffiness, different textures and colors. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. See the nice sausage pieces in there? And then you can add it with all sorts of other parts. You know, you can add beans. You can add, um, you can make some uh, beans to go to put on top. Uh, you know, just mixing up the flavors. You can have something like a, uh, some some a little bit of salad, like lettuce and tomatoes on the side that you you know dice up so you can actually mix it. And we we have that thing of mixing in all the foods. Um, and if any questions or suggestions, please feel free to ask. Um, 
If I'm forgetting something, I'm probably not even going to say it now. Oh, I did forget something. Oh, oh okay. Okay, uh, right here. Um, there. Okay, now there uh, you can see that I put the tomato sauce in only about a little bit over half the can. It's a small can. And the other half I put it in the tray so I can actually freeze it and save it for another recipe for later. Um, and then when everything got together, yeah, it kind of swells up. Which, as I said before, I use two cans. You probably can just use one can and you'd actually use a lot less rice so you don't have this massive overflowing. And that is why it was passing over the, the lid here. Okay, so, yeah. So, for just in case, try with a little bit less. Don't go a little bit overzealous as I did. Um, if any questions, comments, curiosities, complaints, whatever the heck you want, feel free. Tell me about it. Um, I can't think of anything else. All right. Have a good day. Oh, wait. Let me try this first. Because I've only had the aromas and I really haven't been able to taste. Oh, wow. That's hot. Come here, sausage. Oh, wow. It tastes just like my grandma's food. This is awesome. All right. You try it yourself. Have your want. I'm going to throw an egg, uh, a fried egg on top of this. This is going to be awesome. All right. Till next time. See you around. Oh, and cook whatever you want. Throw in other things, other types of sausages if you want, or breakfast sausage and so forth. Nothing from, from fast food places. I'll destroy your food. Okay, um, yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah. Go ahead. Have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy your meal.